Greetings, Dan Halligan with KN2 Games, and I am here today on a mission, and that mission is to film a tight surgical video that's less than 45 minutes for season four of the battle between Howard and York. If you recall, at the beginning of season three, had a strong feeling that York was in the lead, but Howard rallied to have a very big season three, not only winning a prestige courtship, uh, getting a victory point card from the uh, the clumsy but endearing Thomas Allen Hurt, um, acquiring a monument. It, it just was a very, very strong season, and now I think I have to give the nod to Howard just by a hair. I didn't mention or talk about the double dip that happens in a two-player game when you rotate that first player marker over here. So for this start of the fourth season, I'm going to have back-to-back -back turns, and I have my eye on that stock lake. I didn't, I didn't elaborate, that on, elaborate on that at the end of the last video, but to me that's a very important tile because it's seven victory points on the backside. It represents a nice chunk of money to maybe start using the advantage of my max reputation coming up very soon to refresh the market and pick off maybe the final monument. If you recall in a two-player game, there are three monuments in the bag. I've, two of them are out. This is a sweets monument. I'll pull back a little bit there. That's, that's a, um, a, a tile that converts into a monument and is not part of the initial monument population. So it's, um, it's very interesting. I think it's neck and neck. I think Howard's got a little bit of advantage. Uh, mainly I'm thinking over here and I, they're, they're, they're objective cards really appear to be pretty strong. I still have some, I still have a pass. I only have two cards. I still have a pass left this season. So I'm only going to have three activities in the last season while it is very possible that Howard has four if they choose not to pass in order to get to Thomas Allen Hurt again. So it's interesting. I think it's neck and neck. It could go either way. Um, I can't even predict what the score might look on a score pad. Uh, there, there, there could be a growing gap. There might not be. I don't know. A couple of small errata from last uh, video. Uh, I, I posted a video that had a duplicate section in it, so I had to repost that third season video. The proper video has got a V2 for version 2 at the end of the, uh, the title. Um, left, left this gossiping lady's maid, naughty lady's maid. I left her down there, put her up there. I also neglected a point of reputation on the summer house, but you know what? If I'm too dumb to, to remember that point, the heck with it. I'm not going to take it, so... I don't think I'm really going to need it. but So let's come over here and let's get busy. We talked about what York wanted to do, which is in their back-to-back -back turns, was to get into that stock lake. Now I have only two cards, but um, I think that we have a, a strong turn here because of the quality of the guests that I have. So let's go ahead and look at <clears throat> rotate service, order of play. You might ask, why do I always follow down that list. It's just a great way to not forget things and Lord knows I forget enough stuff. So that's a good thing to do. We checked the round track. We do have a village fair. I'm going to deploy the useful man on the private study which is going to uh, enhance the return from the village fair and that means 500 pounds along with two reputation. I Then I'm going to look at monuments. I have two. That's going to get me to max which I knew was in my future. Where's my max? There's my max. New, I'm actually gonna do a little trading away, so I'm gonna leave that eight right off to the side. So I don't have to dig it up. But max reputation right now, don't have the servants hall, so we're ready to get going. We're gonna go to the croquet lawn, which I, I really like for its backside favor. First of all, two gentry, very versatile, and the 300 pounds is, is more than you're gonna get from the bowling green. So I like that a lot. I'm going to pop that over here. Go here. Go on with these two guests, the last two guests. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And we have the glorious Duke of uh, Hazelton. 
and um, <clears throat> I'm going to have to refresh this this butler here. Now the hall boy could actually step into that spot as a uh, as a an alternative, even if the butler is available. And uh, I was thinking I should pass, but I sort of want to use the duke twice in season four and get two victory point cards. Try to close the gap a little bit with Howard. So I got that there. Um, whoops, let me trade that away. One, two, three. Puts me back to eight. I'm in no fear of... I really got a lot of flexibility. I got... This is one of the things you want to do if you get to max or near max in early in a season four. Man, you've got the power. Refresh those servants. Refresh that builder's market. There's a lot of things you can do. So I'm going to grab uh, the valet there. Ladies maid there. We're going to use the cook up here for point of reputation. And we're going to screen guest there. That's going to allow us, she normally would give us the ability to look at two, take one, like the lady of the house. That's going to let us look at three and keep one. What we're doing is we're fishing for a victory point and maybe for a prestige invite. There's about, I can't remember, five or six or seven casual guests that allow you to invite a, invite a prestige guest. That's something I'm, I'm certainly looking for. So might as well use that ability and look. Uh, three of the four uh, upstairs, downstairs servants displayed, and there would have been four or four if we had that hall boy, who we have to get for this. And uh, let's not also forget that we need to complete this objective by getting another service tile. So uh, let's take a look at money. We have uh, 300 pounds here, so let's grab 300. And um, for reputation, I see three reputation here, plus one is four. One, two, three, four. There, I'm going to be trading that off so much, I'm going to leave that right there, and I'm going to show you how I really work the reputation that I have. In other words, very thematic, you know, I'm, I've really risen to the top in uh, in this region of Derbyshire. I'm, 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 I'm well respected now. I've got a lot of leeway and I can use some of that reputation to make things, make good luck fall my way. Um, we also have the look at three, keep one invite. So let's see if my strategy to try to find a cherry casual guest pays off. I'm gonna put on my glasses. Kiss I need to read. So that is not part of that strategy. Uh, you're a disaster. <laughs> uh, uh, an American heiress. Always good for money. Oh, my Lord. Where's Sherlock when you need him? Although Sherlock, Sherlock would not scare away. We'll get rid of the gossip, but it wouldn't do anything about the American heiresses. But that's just a disaster. My gosh, that backfired. So I've got one American arrow, so I'll put these other two over here. And go there. And we've got a victory point card. Let me focus there. Sorry about that. We've got a victory point card. See what we have? Eh. Well, you know, this is not such a bad thing for me at this stage of the game. Because, you know, whoop, sorry, didn't mean to hit that. I meant to try to focus. Because now I could use that to pick up, no, I can't, because, you know, this is going to cost me 700. So I've got a, I was going to say I could pick up my service tile I need for this, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I pick up the stock lake that goes here. Let's break it down. Don't flip that over as it's already been flipped once. But these are my discard pile. I'm going to be passing next turn. Although I could put her, uh, I could could use that carriage house to, to use her as a solo card, but I doubt I'm going to do that. Let me also rotate. There we go. That's called the upstairs downstairs pyramid that's what happens when you uh, when you have a great play using all those servant abilities let's slide over here and see where we're at with Howard gonna pop out and Howard whoop let's let's take care of this go here dig deep oh we have a lion heart suite 
Boy, that would really interest York from that victory point, three victory points per monument, because that's a monument on the backside. Functions similar to the Queen Suite, except you're going to draw a prestige guest and play him right into the Lionheart Suite. That's fascinating. Wow. Okay, so let's do York. We have rotation of service. We have the deploying on the private study. We have the 500 pounds. We have the two reputation. I think it's time to use the cook. You know, I was sort of forgetting that the cook could be our way to get to Margaret Fairchild. But uh, it seems to me that we might like to, uh, to get Margaret Fairchild to an activity today. So we'll zoom in here. And we will have Margaret Fairchild along with Lady Alexandra Suffolk. Now that is really a highbrow game of croquet on the croquet lawn. Going to go here, going to go here, going to go here. So let's go ahead and take a look at money. We have 500 and 200 is 700. I think you know where Howard's going to be going. We have reputation of three plus one is four. One, two, three, four. It's up to seven. We have an invite, which is going to be look at two, keep one here. We have the, uh, I'm sorry, I can't read. Alice, Dowager Countess Holt. That's beautiful. Oh, my Lord. Son of a gun. A second promo card, a second seven prestige rating. So this is Glencora and Plantagenet Palliser, public figures, the renowned chancellor and a celebrated lady, often travel to Derbyshire on holiday. Uh, that is an ability to just flip a tile without playing it right in your tableau, which I'm having trouble with that babbling brook just because of the four gentlemen. And I could flip out of that over into a known courtship category. I mean, we still don't have a high percentage chance. Let me back out here. We still don't have a high percentage chance to get sporting. It's just, you know, it's just as likely we're going to get service. And it's possible we get those three. So this is this is interesting. That That is a, a wonderful card. So we're going to take the Palisers, put this back. Sorry, drop that card. And we get a victory point card for the lovely Margaret Fairchild. And that victory point card could be another objective card. I have to think about that. Look at them babies piling up. Yorkie boy, you're in some trouble. That's all I got to tell you. Go with our upstairs, downstairs pyramid. I am coining, I am coining a term. Now, normally I would stand these up. I always, always stand up my dudes when I play on cards and on tiles and everything. Uh, but just from a standpoint of visibility, I lay them down in this game. And look, so I've created a thing called an upstairs-downstairs pyramid. I love it. Okay. And now we have a lot of money to spend. That Lionheart Suite, quite simply is coming over to our world. Not only is it three front side victory points, only one guest is required, and I don't even have to have them. What a play on the last round, 19th round of the game. That's beautiful. And that was 800 plus 200. That's 1,000. I'm going to put that in there. Have a nice little bit of money left over. Okay, moving to round 17, just a standard round, nothing going on there. We'll come to the order of play. We're going to rotate this whole pyramid, which, again, one of the downsides of having such a productive domestic service turn is that we're light, but hey, I'm passing. So let, let me follow this only because we don't want to neglect anything. Uh, we checked the round track. There's nothing there, but I do, even on a pass turn, get my two reputation. I don't have a servant's hall. Rotate our service, we take back our deck, and I have a choice to hire, which I'm going to use. So I'm going to hire because I need to get that hall boy for that four-point objective, but also to be able to get the second uh, 
place milestone, which is this is an eight victory point, plus I'm getting two victory points for the hall boy, plus two for the other servants. So this is a ten victory point play. It's a little it's a little more uh, productive than it would appear on its face. So in addition to the hall boy, as I think about big events coming down the road, I have the brushing room, so I don't need to worry about getting a valet. But I think I'm going to worry about getting that last lady's maid. I've got a lot of ladies. So that, uh, that turn is done there. I now have 100 pounds to spend. And I'm going to pick up this walled garden. I need 300 pounds to get that walled garden. Um, I'm going to keep him at my disposal. I've got reputation to trade away, so I need... 100 pounds, 200 pounds. So I need 200 pounds there. Oh my goodness, guess what? This this is illustrative. I'm going to make a uh, a harsh judgment here. Howard forgot, that's really me, forgot to use the servant's hall. If you forget to use the servant's hall, if you move past round or step two in the order of play and you forget to use the servants hall no gossip takes place that uh, that ability is passed you by for that turn now that's a little unfair since i'm the one who forgot not howard but but i've got to, i'm going to make a little note hold on i'm going to put this little pad here with a note saying use servants hall so i don't forget but i'm going to keep my useful man at my fingertips because I can use him to refresh the market and actually we're we got a hole in the market here so let me let me go over here reach deep in the bag and we got a second barn which goes down to the reserve deep deep in the bag and we have a north library not really a compelling tile as it's zero victory points on the front side. So, turn done. We did have to pay that hundred to go with the reputation that we traded off. Final thing in this turn for York is to grab that milestone marker, place it up here now that we have the hall boy and that completes our set of upstairs downstairs servants. So the milestones were a draw. Let's slide down over here and look at that. I got a note staring at me saying, use Servants Hall. Let's go through the order of play. We're going to rotate service. And we have a monument. And we're going to use the Servants Hall. Let me take a quick peek at my deck here. A little challenging because I have only four servants. Do I really want to use the servants hall? And you know what? I'm not going to use the servants hall mainly because what harm am I really doing to York? Uh, I'm not doing that any real harm. York's going to finish at max reputation. Yeah, I take away a half of a hundred pounds or a third of a refreshed servant. But I think York is going to be able to engineer uh, the special actions that he wants and still finish it at uh, max. I would use the servants all if I had a lot of servants, but having only four here, I'm a little bit limited. So I'm going to I'm going to hold on and not use the servants hall this particular turn. Okay, I'm a little bit handicapped because of the combination of servants that I have and the need to pull multiple servants out of the servants quarters obviously I get one I need more than one uh, I spent some time there trying to get my mind around the permutations I'm gonna go this way so I'm going with the croquet lawn that's gonna require me to take one of the pyramid members and drop them there I want to get these two in play I made a bit of a mistake when I picked Charles Fairchild is that the young lady was in the discard pile so I want to get him played so that I can bring him back with the young lady later in the season. And I want to play the Palisers, and the Palisers will allow me to deal with the difficulty associated with that babbling brook and move it over into a known category, courtship category, which I think is a wise move. So I have um, 
here valid here a valid I need to refresh one two three I need to refresh a lady's maid for here and I am done so let's take a look at our money we're gonna pick up 300 pounds gives us 800 total we're gonna go to the reputation we have three points of reputation so I'm gonna get back the cost of refreshing that uh, ladies maid and I'm going to be able to I'm gonna flash out here I'm gonna be able to flip this babbling brook which is a hybrid tile which now goes over and resides three victory points in a known courtship category guaranteed I'm gonna count that I don't know that I'm gonna count this so I think that that's a wise play finally let's see nope that's all so I'm gonna do that and then I can bring the palacers back again maybe buy like a big numbered sporting or essentials tile which have big backside victory points and do another flip so that's going in my discard pile make sure I'm staying focused here let's pull this down does not flip I'm going to slide up my monument and I have 800 pounds to spend let's take a look at the market a little more closely and see what we have well that's too closely so let's go here let's slide over a little bit when I'm thinking value I'm thinking the music room the music room is going to be a known category so really I, oh what am I talking about jeez okay dumb dumb alarm buying the flower room for 400 pounds which gets me an 11 point flash out here gets me an 11 point objective uh, I'm sorry I had that brief diversion into opaqueness so I'm putting the flower room there spending uh, 400 pounds we'll slide I'll do that off camera and we'll get over here a couple interesting things happened in the market first of all I pulled a kennels it was a duplicate the offering for two kennels in the market is the 600 pound space if there is a market refresh that will get cleared but that's how duplicates are handled and then I had a promo tile, a North Tower, courtesy of Franco Cagno. And I've, I played with the iconography a little bit, but otherwise this, this remains true to its uh, design that's going to show up in June. And this is a hybrid tile that stays in the prestige category and uh, gives some distinct victory points as well as benefits that's going to be interesting we have to see what we do about that one it is got a does have a 300 pound uh, premium which makes sense if you're adding a tower to uh, or renovating a tower on your country estate so it's time for a revelation let's slide over here and reach this is going to be a category that's going to be scored with the other three it's in a state category son of a gun can you believe that that play by Howard to flip that babbling brook uh, turned out to be prescient that was brilliantly done Wow Wow York's gonna have to scramble a little bit here all right mobile phone alert we need to sort of evaluate where we're at as it relates to final courtship so we have first of all I want to point out today I reorganize that I'm very OCD I like the tiles to be in prestige rating order <laughs> if you're wondering what happened there anyway um, we have two estate themes we have one essentials and one prestige so where are we at we have two points here we have five and eight is 13 that's times two because there's two estate themes revealed it's 26 that's 28 and then we have five that's 33 11 that's 44 and three is 47 so currently for all four of those themes Howard stands at 47 over here we have eight take a look here we have five and six is 11 that's times two 22 that's 30 and then we have uh, 33 40 so we have 47 here we have 40 over here so that's sort of the lay of the land York's plan has to be to 
close that gap. So let's go ahead and get you back in the get you back in the cradle and let's look at York's turn. And let's rock and roll as we come down the home stretch. Two rounds remaining. Let's go up and uh, we do have, uh, well, let's rotate service. We had just done the hiring of the hall boy and the ladies maid. So we slide them over. On the round track, there is an objective card draw. This is sort of a late game. See what you can draw. Maybe something that you've already accomplished. And look at this. We have service and essentials. That's worth five victory points. Essentials only worth two. We'll pop that over there. We're not unhappy with that because that's in the bank. We have two monuments, so we're going to add two to our max reputation. And... Uh, no servants hall. So what are we going to do here? Well, first thing we got to do is we got an eight point flip here and we have money here. So this can help drive what we need to do to get, um, oops, that's upside down in the market to, we need to drive here, uh, money and to get that eight victory points. So we'll go there and we're going to provide that service. We have quite the get together, even though we're a little staggered, by the uh, estate courtship, which isn't necessarily in our favor. We do have a big play planned, which is I'm going to take I'm going to take this cook and put the cook on the wall garden for the extra point of reputation. So we'll come back up here. Uh, we're going to have that there. We're going to have that there. We're going to have that there. I'm going to need to refresh this butler here, one, two, three, that'll put me at eight. And I'm going to use this here to uh, screen the Countess's invite action. Let's look at our money. We have 600, 500, it's 1,100, that's 1,400. Great amount of money to pull late in the game when I can use my useful man to refresh the market and perhaps to go after a tile that could be a game changer, bring me bring me even. Um, so after that money play, we have three, we have five reputation, plus two down on the wall garden here, minus two, so we're at five. So that puts us at max reputation. And then as far as our invites, our first invite is look at two, keep one. So we'll take a look. And two very good guests indeed. Um, going to lean in the direction here of the Earl of Kellynch, one of my favorite original prestige cards. Put this one at the bottom, and then with the Five Frows invite, we pull automatically a very bad guest in. <laughs> I can't even read. Why don't I have my glasses? Hold on one sec. We have Archibald, Lord Mancroft. He is a new one, an honored son of Darby. The loquacious pure is renowned for his fiery rhetoric in Parliament, but not for his victory points, which I need, Archibald. That one, uh, that one stung a little bit. And uh, how we set otherwise, we have a victory point card. So let's go ahead and take a look. Not again! Yeah, Psh. not happy about that at all. That's the time to get a little bit of a better favor. And let's go ahead and break down. So so now I, as I break down here, I've got, I've got a challenge. And that challenge is um, how, how to draw even. I, I gambled a little bit. Let me flash out. I gambled a little bit on going for this big play with the Stock Lake in case we got a sporting reveal. We did not. So the question really becomes the best way to play. Now, this is six victory points over here. And that can make a big difference. And it gives me a play for the last round. I don't know if that's enough to, uh, to get it done. In particular... Because I can see, I can see Howard going for that long gallery. Um, 
I don't think I have a better player. Remember, this is seven victory points at two vict or one victory point per two coins. But I still think I'm I gotta play it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the music room. Put that music room there. Slide this down. Reach in the bag. Pull out a hybrid tile that comes with the um Second printing of Obsession, which is a hybrid room. The green room was a commonly named room back in the Victorian era. And it moves between two categories. We come out, though, on the, the side with the line underneath. Now, that does grant three victory points for a, an Essentials uh, Courtship Reveal, which we've already had, when normally you've got to flip a standard Essentials tile to get to points. So that's that's worth noting. And I don't know. I'm um, I'm not feeling in a particularly strong place, but let's uh, let's not throw in the towel yet, and slide over here. Okay, so Grinning Howard is going to go ahead and grab their two objective. Well, let's rotate service. We'll move our upstairs downstairs pyramid. We'll rotate service and three ladies made, which he shut out of and. 1,200 pounds. Uh, neither of those are super attractive. Um, that's that's going to require more of a money engine than he has. He'll keep that one, and he's shut out of the ladies' maid due to the ladies' maids being exhausted in the market. So uh, that's not the best thing. Let's Let's take a look here. So we do have one monument, so reputation that brings us up to eight. Servants Hall, um, again, I, I I don't think there's much that can be done to punish over here. Um, I still should do it probably because I can stop a market refresh, but then they're probably going to play the music room. Um, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my cook to spread the gossip. I'm going to pull one away just in case. So the flower room got flipped when I did my OCD and reorganized the tiles by prestige rating. So the flower room had not been played, just recently purchased. So we're coming up here to the flower room and we have the lady of the house. And if you recall, Miss Penelope Hill was the one we refreshed with the laundry. And so we'll supply... Service to Miss Penelope Hill. We will use a screening action there. We can pull from our servants' quarters. We can pull the footman there. And, whoops, sorry, don't mean to bump that. And we are ready to go. So we have no money and we have no reputation in this play. And so what we're doing is uh, invites. And I'm going to grab this out of the stack the lady of the house is going to dismiss this american heiress if you remember our plan to exploit her and send her packing she's being sent back to where is she from i think she's from north carolina back she goes uh here we're going to look at two and keep one and two guests which are somewhat substandard that's a bit unfortunate She's obviously the better of the two, I think. The two the two victory points a little bit disappointing. And you know what? I did neglect when we were playing um, last round, and we did not take the Palliser's prestige guest invite, and so I'm going to draw the Honorable Albert Plantagenet, one of my favorite pitchers of all, but not my favorite number of victory points. So I will break this down, flip this over, discard pile. Only 300 pounds does not get me into the long gallery. And I'm not in a mode, I think, with only one round after this, to trade away some reputation. In this case, it would be to trade away four reputation to get into the long gallery. I feel I have a pretty good lead. I'm going to go ahead and ride that lead and get pl uh, plan on playing the Lionheart Suite to finish out. 
So here we are, round 19, last round of the regular activities right before final courtship. So just to do a little math, um, you know, I actually totaled, remember when I said I reorganized because of my OCD, I actually totaled up the flower room with three victory points rather than the zero. So it was a little closer. Uh, it still has them in the lead at 47, but now over here we're eight and 22 is 30. Uh, that's 43, so it's 47 to 43 right now. And the big play, I can tell you, has got to be for me to use my useful man to refresh the market, try to find that last monument. Um, I don't know what monument it is. The way I do it is I keep all my tiles in the bag, and I know the limitations in a, in a two-player game, so there's only one more monument that could come into play. But it could be the sculpture garden. It could be anything. I, I don't know what that is, but I have a refresh action. So um, it'll be real interesting to see what that produces. But I'm definitely going to refresh and get Howard away from that long gallery and I and the North Tower. I don't want Howard anywhere near adding points if they can now. There's no guarantees when I refresh, but let's jump into it. So in round 19, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and refresh service. Move over our pyramid there. Is that quite a pyramid? Almost a pyramid. And uh, the round track has nothing. Monuments, I have two. Now I want to show you a little move. I thought that was at max. Oh, she stole one. I want to show you a little move, which is that I'm going to use a special action to get 100 pounds. Special actions can be taken at any time during your turn, which means between the start of the turn, step one, all the way to clearing the board in step eight. I did that because I've got two points of reputation that I want to be able to take. By taking that 100 pounds, I get some value. Otherwise, I would have only gotten one of the two points of reputation. It's an important little thing when you're near max. Being near max, I tell you, getting to max early in a game really can give you a powerful, powerful engine, very thematic. I didn't rotate. There's my pyramid. I didn't rotate her. She was still on the wall guard. So uh, no servants hall, of course, have not had one. And let's, uh, let's take a look. I need to really consult my hand right now. I know it's going to be the music room, but I need to take a look at who's coming to dinner. Or to the recital, I should say. Okay, for the music room, let's zoom in a little bit. I um, had to do a little math. So I am taking him from there, which is one, two, three, still at max. But I'm going to go further, and I'm going to take him from there as well. That's one, two, three. So I am now... At eight, did I stick? I, why didn't I not save that? So I'm at eight. Uh, I have the brushing room. I will go there. I have additional money. We'll go ahead and put that there. So that is the music room. So let's see where we're at. One thing I got to be careful is that I do not let him have a final turn where stealing one reputation from me can drop me off of max to reputation level eight or else that will cost me nine victory points. So I've got to be careful. That's why I was doing a little bit of math. So we'll start out, we'll take a look at money. We got 100, 200, 300, 300 is 600. And then we're going to look at reputation. We have four reputation, one, two, three, four. That's the math I had to do to make sure I got to max. And um, we have two invites um, off the top of the deck. You know what I'm going to get my glasses now and holy crap that's the two worst guests i could have ever drawn three victory points for two prestige guests oh man i don't even want to read this new guest to you agnes dowager countess reed in 1842 a fire destroyed reed manor taking the lives of the respected countess's husband and child that's how I feel, not to make light of my little backstory, but that's how I feel about your one victory point. That absolutely hurts beyond description of hurting and pain. 
it's going to come down to something like that, I feel, and that uh, that's rough. So now comes the big play, taking him out of circulation. Let me flash out, taking him out of circulation. He's no longer available. And I am going to refresh. Okay, I'm going to grab this bag, going to bring it over. Got a servant's quarters. That goes down to the service tile reserve. Got main library. That doesn't do me any good. A couple more. English garden. already have it. Parish church. A couple more. Ah, music room. That's not good. That only benefits Howard. Oh, there it is. The Manor Gargoyles. Wow. Wow. Let's let's jump in a little bit. Go take a look. This is what came out. I'm going to go even closer. There it is, baby. Sorry, should be out there. I get a little excited. We're going to buy that for 1,100 pounds. That goes into... Goes into the tableau. Okay, we're over here with Howard. They're reeling a little bit. Let's flash in, and, and there. this is going to be a major gamble. If you take a look at their tableau, there's nothing really to flip to get the kind of victory points that can get them close to York on the final courtship. There's nothing in the market. Four victory points from the music room is not going to get it done. Those, those tiles can obviously not be flipped. So let's let's go rotate service. Take our point for our monument. Whoop. Gonna steal one from the jerk Yorks just to gossip, even though it doesn't hurt them to give me another. But here's the trick. It's nine victory points to get there. But if I go make a safe play of playing a guest and getting my nine victory points, I'm probably gonna lose to York. I got a gamble, and this is the ultimate wild card. I basically get to draw a prestige guest from the top of the deck. Don't know what that prestige guest is. If they don't have reputation, I'm going to lose nine points in addition to whatever else. If they have reputation, I'm going to get to max reputation, and hopefully if they're a high-powered guest, then they can put me uh, over the top and compensate me for losing that final courtship. So I'm coming here. I'm supplying that there. Are you ready for this? Let me flash out. I'm put I'm gonna get my glasses ahead of time. Hold on. Getting the glasses. This is a big deal. Oh there it is. There it is. Holy Crap. I almost used a bad word on the video. Oh my God. No service is required for the Lionheart Suite because of the extraordinary accommodations and the lavish effort that is put out for this special guest. So let's read her. It's Rebecca Dowager Countess Clare. The ill Dowager Countess Clare enjoys the very best connections. However, she requires extra aid. It doubles all favors. That means two, count them two, victory point cards. Boom. Eight victory point six total victory point cards unbelievable and two prestige guests again the not the best wait oh my goodness not the best guests um four victory points but still to get 12 victory points <gasps> wait a sec i didn't i didn't get I didn't get over the top. Well, I got a lot, but I missed the nine. That would have been better if that were <laughs> reputation, not for, well, for me to complain. Anyway, 
there it is, folks. That's the last play. It ended out. It ended dramatically. We flipped this. There's no increase in victory points on a sweets towel when you flip it. Holy smoke! Okay, I'm bringing you out of the cradle. Courtship was won by York. York will take the young lady in a victory point card. Let's flip that over. Oh my gosh! Just doing terrible with the victory point card. So I already started to total a little bit. The tableau here for Howard was 48 victory points, 67 for the more robust tableau of York. Gentry was significantly in a favor of Howard until we added the eight points for the young lady, closing the gap, giving a 115 to 100 lead. We're on to objective cards. You know, I was just thinking, if they had gotten a favor with Rep excuse me, with reputation to reputation, they would have got nine victory points. It would have been picked up five more. We'll see if that matters. So they did not get these two. We had five here. 11 here is 16. I have 12 prestige guests there. That's 28. And milestones are going to be counted in the next revision of the score pad you will see that this is for both objectives and milestones and both got 12 there so we have 40 here and here we have nine and six is 15 and six is uh 21 and five is 26 and 12 up there is 38 so that's pretty close Reputation VP, we have 45 there and 36 there. So we have 176 to 198. We'll see if Howard can close it. They've got more servants, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Wealth, two over there, one over there. So this here is 220, 198, 199. But we do have a bigger advantage here. I don't think it's going to be enough. 10, 18, and 8 is 26. 225. And over here, we have... All my threes, that's nine and a five, is 14 to 234. Think about a couple of things uh, that could have broke if that guest had gotten them some reputation. That would have been nine more. It would have been 234 to 234. It would have been a tie if that prestige guest had conferred a victory point card with reputation of which there are several in the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. I, uh, I staggered across the finish line, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Hopefully uh, the extreme length doesn't scare too many people away and that they actually get to this summary here of York's victory just by a hair over Howard.